Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. This video will be a flip of my planner starting December and these videos are the start of my vlogmas. I'm not doing a video every day but I am doing a video every weekday. So make sure you are subscribed if you want to see those. I have a lot of very fun videos planned and I can't wait to show them to you. So let's get started with this December flip. I am still in my yellow and she looks really dark today. Um, this is in natural light. As always, I always try and show my planners in natural light so you can see all the markings and the patina and just everything really. Um, that's what I love to see most. So let's get into it. I haven't decorated a whole lot for December, if I'm honest. I try to find some things that I have used in previous years and I honestly just couldn't find them. So I've just made do with what I had. Um, this little home bookshop card, I do have this in like a regular version as well. But this one is a little bit Christmassy, as you can see there. Then I have these little calendars. Um, you can see I stopped marking off November and I do have December there. Then I have this little snowman that my eldest drew and laminated for me. I think that was a couple of years ago now. Um, so he's just hanging out in the pocket. And then in here I have the little uh, sock panda that my youngest girl did. A receipt and then some passport pictures and some stickers my ollie clip and then i have a little project life card and a picture and then this dashboard is from my minimal planner and i just thought that was super cute for december some sticky notes on the back and then my dashboard is here with all my pictures in i have changed quite a lot of things because my planner was um I just wasn't very happy with how it was set up. So I did kind of take everything out and add some stuff, print some new stuff. Uh, so yeah, it is kind of different from last time. This dashboard here, which I made, and then some pictures and things on the back. More pictures, and then my list section. I didn't know whether to get rid of this section, but I have just kept it for now. It might be something that I eventually get rid of I'm not too sure but for now I have trigger lists and then my standard lists um, I just don't look at them very much so that's why I thought that maybe I could get rid of them but like I said I am just keeping them for now some recipes and other sort of notes and things uh, a few little Christmas bits as well and then drawings from my kiddos this overview from my minimal planner more pictures and then I did take out the beginning of the year like I said I think it was a couple of videos ago maybe so I have November and then December in here pictures then I printed out this freebie again my minimal planner and it's the 2024 overview and I just think these are so cute these little icons here and the back then I have the monthly planner. So this is from Peanuts Panico. And I do have the whole next year in here. And I have started planning some things on there too. Then you get into my weekly section, which I did change up. So this is what they looked like before. I did consider taking it all out. But I just think I like seeing my week all together so I got this from the ghost pen Lindsay here on YouTube and Instagram it's her shop and I'll leave the link down below and that's what this little weekly overview is and then I really missed seeing my uh, schedule for the week so I did just write that down on a sticky note I have meals here as well that we have and the dates that they go out of date my little file effects ruler and then I've started next week as well. A few of those in there. And I will just add 
and kind of another sticky note for next week and then when this is done i'll just pop it on the week a spending tracker and then you get into my inbox which again i changed another new insert and then i have a to buy as well um, this one's a freebie from peanuts panico and then you get my actual sticky notes section um, here so i've got various reminders and things that i need to do here and then some school stuff on the back then i have my little notes section just random little notes and drawings some extra paper and then this sticky note here is just where I am jotting down all my videos for Vlogmas that I'm doing. So those are all there. Then I have my book club stuff. I have picked our book club for December. I will leave the link down below if you fancy joining the Discord. More pictures. This is journaling home. Uh, my minimal planner. And then my dailies, which I also changed. Uh, I will be doing a flip on Instagram as well if you want to see these a little bit more. Uh, so I just wanted to try something new. I switched to the Masaya Bramucci down two pages and I am really liking it so far. Um, yeah, I feel really at home on a day in two pages. So I have all of December in there as well. And I will be taking these November ones out after I filmed my flip on Instagram. They will come out. So then I will have a little bit more space in here as well. Another little dashboard picture and then my little section. So I have my bucket list, my memory sheet and then my reading log here. Then I have my reading trackers how many pages i don't know whether to do this for december or not so i haven't printed another one um i should decide quite quickly my reading tracker journal tracker ward tracker habit tracker um, and then my gratitude tracker here is ready for december and then i have this little mood tracker again from Lindsay's shop and i probably wait until I might start in December or I might wait until January for that. I'm not sure. Then I added this little insert from Annie Plans and it's this one. And this was kind of for journaling, that kind of thing. If I want to write anything down, I have that little section there. Then I have my fitness section. So I've got um, progress pictures, body measurements, weight log. And then my workout, what I'm doing, along with my workout overview. Workout tracker here. And then behind that is my cycle tracker. And then I have my health logs. Next is my kiddos section. So I just have pictures, notes, uh, schedules for their school. And then they each have a little Filofax tab divider. Um, inside their section they have notes, school stuff, information, that kind of thing, timetables for my eldest, um, health logs, height and weight tracker. And then I also have a little pet section at the back too. Then I have papers. So this is school stuff, spellings, um, a class list for Christmas cards, more concert stuff, a receipt, these little messages I popped at the back and then I did clear out this envelope as well. So she is, that is a lot uh, emptier. It's passwords, return information and a five-year vision. Then I have pictures and things in the back and here. And then in the back, I also took out quite a lot of stuff. Uh, so I just sorted through it. These are tickets for the summer fair, which I need. And then I have a little contacts sheet down here, just in case anything ever happens to my phone. I have that there, but it makes it feel so much squishier. It was quite, um, not stiff, but you could feel that I definitely had things in the back pocket and now you can't. And I just love how squishy it makes it. Uh, so yeah, that is my planner for December. 
If you have any questions, let me know. And my next video will be on Monday. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.